Hello, welcome to my kitchen. In this video, we are going to go through an Asda delivery haul. We're gonna go through very quickly the meal plan for the next week. We'll raid the freezers and see what's in there as well. And we're also gonna go through this bad boy. Yesterday, I sent Ed off on a hunt with the two good to go up again to get a Morrison's magic bag. Now, the last one we had was from a little Morrison's in like a, a garage station, garage station, a garage, a petrol station near us. And it wasn't great, to be honest. Uh, the staff didn't really care for the app. I don't know. Anyway, this is from a big superstore near us. So it's a big bag. I'm excited. Let's see what we've got. We did, so we did actually get this yesterday. So yes, I have put some of this in the fridge and put it back in the bag for the purposes of this video because I've lost my mind. Okay, first up, we have mushrooms. We have not one, not two, but three punnets and mushrooms and these look okay but their sell by date was yesterday so I'm either going to chop them up and freeze them or I think what I'll actually do is I ordered some cream with the Astra order I think I'm going to make some cream and mushroom soup and freeze that instead we have some wholemeal sliced bread that's exciting is it looking okay it's looking fine that can go in the freezer as well I did crack into these blackberries this morning already. They were reduced down to £1.41, but obviously these cost much less. The, the overall price of the Magic Bag was £3.10? £3, £3 something. So, you know, we didn't pay an awful lot for it. I got two of them. So that's pretty good, actually, considering these alone probably should have cost £3 something. So pretty pleased with that. They'll go in the freezer as well. And then finally, Morrison's The Best, Finest, which is, you know, I never buy that. I always buy the basics range. Um, Jersey Royal Potatoes. These are new potatoes. That's nice. And uh, they, look, they look fine, actually. These don't appear to have anything wrong with them. So overall, quite pleased with that. Let's get on with the Asda haul. I got one lonely freezer item, some stir fry veg mix, because it's always handy to have in. This is everything else that I got. I spent 40 odd pounds, total amount will be on the screen. Help it. You're helping, are you? Uh, you want more blueberries? Stand by. Where were we? Let's start over here. Uh, these are, mine have owned these for ages. I'm gonna make for uh, some ice lollies uh, at some point this evening. I've got some frozen bananas in the freezer and plenty of milk, so that'll be happening soon. I'm in the mood for a Thai green curry, so that's probably going to happen next week. I realised I no longer have any tins of peas in, and that worries me because I panic in case my freezers die and all I have in is frozen veg. I, I normally have fresh in as well, but I think, you know, it's good to have backup. A couple of tins of chopped tomatoes. I am completely out of yoghurt, so I needed to get a new starter for some yoghurt. So this is some nice live yoghurt there. I also find that if you keep reusing the same starter over and over again, eventually it gets quite thin. So sometimes you just need to buy a new one. Oh, in a moment, sweetheart. I got some cream because I got loads and loads of mushrooms in a magic bag yesterday. So I'm going to make some cream of mushroom soup. Uh, two things of milk. We've already been at one. And that'll probably be gone by the end of the day. So there we go. Uh, some cheese. I needed some to grate up and freeze as always. Nice thing with butter. We're doing a lot of cooking with the butter at the moment. Some caramel wafer bars. I figured we could try these. We've not tried the essential ones before from Asda and Ed might like them for his lunch bag. We'll find out. He'll eat them either way. Dried mixed fruit. Not a thing I normally buy at this time of year, but I'm still playing with this bread maker. This bread maker is gonna be the death of me. There is a recipe on there for a fruit loaf. Bless you. You okay? So I'm going to attempt to make a fruit loaf. Let's see. I haven't even managed gluten-free bread in it yet, so I think I'm being a bit ambitious. Some grapes, mostly for Freya. Potatoes, because I always need potatoes. She's the potato queen. These were actually not a bad price for what is really quite a substantial pack, so I was quite pleased with those. Yogurts, we always have yogurts, although I'm not that impressed with the date on those, to be honest. 19th of May, that gives us not even two weeks. 
I mean, those will all be gone within two weeks, but normally the date on them is better, I feel. I am out of peanut butter and controversial opinion. I always have a teaspoon, a tablespoon of peanut butter in my porridge in the morning. It's probably a bit of a weird thing there. Let me know if you've ever done that. You should if you haven't. Um, I've got some pasta sauce. It's just nice to have in for pizza bases if we're going to make non pizzas. Although really I should pull my finger out and make some more of my own. Honey nut cornflakes for Ed's breakfast because I won't let the toddler steal those. And more generic non-branded Weetabix for Freya because she has two or three every single day except on days when she goes to nursery where she'll have an extra two there and potentially eat five. I'm not joking. These were a substitution, some porridge oats. I did buy a bigger bag, but they clearly didn't have that in stock. I've clearly had a bit of mum brain here. I've ordered oranges, then forgotten that I've added some easy peelers in as well. So I have oranges and easy peelers. Nobody in this house will have scurvy in the next week. Courgettes, mostly for the rabbit and the tortoise, to be honest at this point. I'm just not the biggest fan of them cooked. And I got some bananas they are pretty green so they will take a while to come too blueberries that looks like quite an empty pack doesn't it hmm some gluten-free naans they'll be for making naan pizza i'm sure a couple of steak slices these freeze and they're ready to eat that you can eat them hot or cold so they're good to have for ed's lunches just to mix it up a bit so he's not constantly eating sandwiches and if these are large poppadoms, these those are not large poppadoms, right? Come on. They are tiny poppadoms. I've clearly come a cropper whilst feeding the rabbit there. Um, those are tiny poppadoms. I am disappointed, Asda. That is not following through on my expectations. Okay, so I've raided the freezers and this is what we're working with this week. Um, so in no particular order because I might switch it up um, depending on the day. I've got some veggie curry that I made a little while ago in the slow cooker. That'll be a nice easy dinner one night. I've got some poppadoms, do some rice with it. That's nice and easy. I think um, gammon, egg and chips would be a nice weeknight dinner one night as well. Going to do some sort of salmon with stir fry one night. Four pork loin chops that are going to go with uh, sort of creamy mustard sauce and some potatoes in the slow cooker. And finally, I haven't decided yet, but these beef mince packets have been in the freezer since January, so it's now May. They need used. So maybe cottage pie. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.